Hi guys, it's Dominika. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than everything that I've done so far. It's because I want to just talk about the way how Eastern European women, or specifically Polish women, are being portrayed in American TV shows. And I think it's something so important to talk about because American TV shows are no longer just American. Basically, they are watched all over the world by people in other European countries. Growing up in Poland, we had TLC, we had Comedy Central, and other channels which were American TV shows being just translated to Polish. It was a very normal thing to do. Same in Denmark where I live right now. There's also I think Comedy Central and TLC just on TV with American shows. So the way how we use stereotypes on those characters is no longer just showing what Americans think of Polish people, but it basically using those stereotypes to portray those characters and then further spreading those stereotypes, which are always negative when it comes to Poland and Eastern Europe. And I think it's something that's time to talk about and the uh, thing that we need to diversify things a little bit more and how those things can be harmful, you know, because in Eastern Europe, we watch American shows portraying us Eastern Europeans very negatively. And when you're a teenager, you just want to be cool, you know? You're very insecure and you have so many like issues that I don't want to talk about over here. But on top of that, right now, you watch your country being represented in those TV shows that all of your peers are watching. And then you realize that Polish character, Polish woman in my case, is always someone over-sexualized, someone uh, usually a manual labor worker, cleaner, stealing, and watching that just feels like, okay, maybe that's what I am. I'm figuring out my identity. Maybe the way how I am portrayed is all that I will ever be. Let's just talk about it. I think I want to make that video to hear what you guys think, other Polish people or Eastern European people. What do you think about it? Because I know some people don't care. They're just like, oh, it's a TV show, it doesn't matter. Some people are very passionate about the topic. I think I'm somewhere in between. Um, and I would really love to have a discussion with you guys about it and uh, what do you think. And if you like this type of videos, please give it a like and of course subscribe to my channel so I'll know to make more of those type of videos uh, if you guys are interested. And basically the idea to make that video came directly from the way how a uh, Ukrainian woman was being portrayed in Emily in Paris in season 2. And if you don't know what Emily in Paris is, is this very um, just silly American TV show. And and I think some people who worked on this TV series also worked with Sex and the City before. And I think that's a similar vibe that we have this girl Emily who's very fashionable, kind of like Carrie Bradshaw. She's going to Paris and for this new job and everything is so silly and it's supposed to be very lighthearted. And it came out during the pandemic and I just remember watching it just to feel better. I just want to see pretty views of Paris and how life was like amazing before the pandemic. And then in the season I'm watching this show and we have Ukrainian woman that Emily meets in her French class and basically they become friends and very quickly in their friendship, I don't know, the first or second time they hang out after class, the Ukrainian woman steals clothing or bags or whatever it was from the shop and she doesn't even realize there's anything wrong with it. She basically just walks out with the stuff and she drags Emily with her. She's like, not only I'm stealing, I'm gonna make you steal because I genuinely am so clueless that stealing is wrong and you're not supposed to do that. J'adore gratuit. Oh, oui, j'adore gratuit. Oui. Oh, wait, we didn't pay. And then Emily, of course, is a hero and she's like, no, I'm gonna go and return everything to the store, which is the right thing to do, of course. And then people who've never been to Ukraine, never met any Ukrainian person, are just watching it and like, okay, it's just like a Borat land, you know? They just like go and take what they want and they don't even realize that it's wrong. And it's very problematic, also like myself being a... Polish person, I live in Denmark now for a few years. People have this idea that we steal, because some people do, okay? Some people do steal, but definitely it's percentage-wise, it's a very small percentage of our population who just steal crazily, <laughs> stuff, stuff like that. And basically there was one girl that I've met here, a Danish girl, who was all very nice and stuff, but then when she got drunk, she just told to me that like, oh, whenever I'm around Polish person, I just think they will steal from me. And I think that's something that a lot of people have this undermining fear that like, okay, this girl seems to be nice, she's Polish, she seems to be nice, 
but I'm not gonna leave my wallet around. I'm always gonna be careful. I'm gonna keep my distance. And those stuff can be very, very harmful. And in this case, this portrayal of this one Ukrainian uh, woman stealing is her whole persona. There's nothing else to her than stealing. And it seems like she could not even control it, doesn't see anything wrong with it. Come on. Come on. Now, moving forward to more specifically Polish women, because I kind of digressed, but I don't know. I just... Ugh. When we look at the way how Polish women are portrayed, for example, we have Sophie Kaczynski from Two Broke Girls. And the show, generally speaking, is very funny, and everyone is basically caricatures, caricatures that word, and not just her being a very stereotypical Polish Eastern European woman, but we have a stereotypical black guy, stereotypical Asian guy, stereotypical Ukrainian guy, also those two brokers, one is basically Paris Hilton, another one is basically a um, girl who grew up in a poor neighborhood now being street smart. So everyone over there is very like specific, very like niche. Basically the place where they come from is their whole personality, so in this way, like, Sophie doesn't stand out and Sophie looks like that, for those of you who guys don't know. So obviously she's blonde, because obviously we're all blonde in Poland. She has very big breasts, because we all do. She wears very tight and sexual dresses and basically she's very hypersexual throughout the entire show. Both her and the Ukrainian guy named Oleg, they're both hypersexual and crazy. And uh, in a way, I'm kind of having mixed feelings about Sophie's character. Some of the jokes that she makes about Poland are just genuinely funny and I laugh a lot. And some are basically writers thinking, what are the most ridiculous ideas we can come up with? And let's just make her say it. And for example, Sophie, uh, that's, a, that's where I have mixed feelings because she's a businesswoman, technically. She owns her own uh, cleaning company, cleaning services company, so okay, she actually has her own business, she's doing f very well financially, which I really like, but then it's of course a cleaning business, because what else would she be good at doing? And actually in the beginning the two girls, two broke girls, think that she's a prostitute because of the way how she dresses and because she hires young women. And also there's many people, stereotypically, thinking that Eastern European women are all prostitutes that if we move to Western European countries, it's to prostitute ourselves because there's nothing else we can bring to society. Maybe besides cleaning and being housekeepers and nannies and that's it. But okay, I'm digressing again. But basically the character Sophie, she's... Uh, I don't know how to describe her because I don't think she's portrayed as unsmart because she has some very good club bugs with some of the characters in the show and she of course is successful financially. But then she says very clueless stuff and she talks a lot about shallow things, uh, so there's I think a lot of shallowness to her character and then certain jokes she makes are very funny so uh, it's a running joke in a series that uh, she's be building house in Poland uh, and then basically her contractors rip her off the house was never built, they just took her money When Sophie went to see her new house there was no house. Her Polish contractor ripped off her money. Anyone who was building house in Poland knows that you have to go there every day, check out what they're doing, and not maybe that they will steal all your money, but they will just not do their job properly, that they will try to like do minimum effort and see if you'll notice or not. She also had a joke, I think, that growing up in Poland, uh, the shelves were just vinegar. And I think that's like a funny joke as well, because back in the communist days, I think, I, I don't remember those days, okay? I'm not that old, I'm just 24. That's something that realistically was happening, that sometimes the shelves in the stores were empty. Uh, so there are some jokes that are very on point and I had a very good laugh about, but then, for example, she has this like, I don't even know if it's a joke, I think they're just supposed to show how ridiculous Poland is. So uh, there was one where that Polish people believe that if you die on a the street, uh, then you'll become a re reincarnated cat, especially like Jewish cat or something like that. In Poland, we believe if you die outside, you're reincarnated as a cat. Am I the only one who thinks Poland sounds like a real freak show? And it will bring in all the bad Jews. That's not a thing. That's just not a thing. I don't know what else to say. And also Poland is a very Catholic country, so we don't believe in re reincarnation. Also, for example, she says that uh, Christmas was one time cancelled in a village where she comes from. Again, Poland being very Catholic and religious country, especially villages, I cannot imagine Christmas just being cancelled somewhere. Or she had the one joke where she says that in spring bodies of our relatives are floating out. This is the time of year in Poland when the snow would melt and all our dead relatives would float back to us. Nothing happened. No, not at all, I think. We have the same burial procedures as uh, Americans. We have like, you know, coffin in the ground, 
nothing exploding out. Hi guys, it's Editing Dominica over here. So after I finished shooting the video, I started editing. I found a few more examples of problematic stuff. So one of the things is the portraying of child labor and like child stuff in the show. So basically there's a whole thing that Sophie got injured when she worked as a child. I cannot find the scene, uh, so I don't know the exact age. But she was supposedly a small child. She worked at the Polish ripoff of McDonald's of some kind and she got injured. I don't think there was ever like a Polish ripoff of McDonald's, it was never a thing. And also like her child labor, it was never a thing. Like of course now we have child labor laws, but even in communism days, children were not allowed to work. Um, they had to be in school and my dad told me that if you were not in school, in a school hours, on a, but you were on the pavement or whatever, the police would ask you why you're not in school. So a child labor like that was not a thing since before war probably. And there was also the whole thing that she stopped smoking at the age of 12 after smoking for seven years so, so since the age of five again i cannot imagine five-year-old smoking cigarettes in poland um and i think it was supposed to be a joke that we start smoking cigarettes early and i know that you know underage smoking cigarettes it's a thing i know that in us smoking cigarettes is not cool anymore majority of the europe smoking is still considered to be cool by teenagers so i think me and my friends, that were first cigarettes probably at the age of 14 or something like that, but not the, at the age of five and not that you would be like addicted for seven years and your parents wouldn't care or no one would care. I don't think that's a thing either. And then I also found this very problematic clip over here. In Poland, we didn't have dolls. Yeah, we just hired little gypsy kids and we carried them around. And this clip is so problematic because it's not just about Polish people, but also the Romani minority um, and the Romani minority existed in Poland. I think now there's not many people left. So there are still some Romani people left in Poland, but I think majority left after uh, Poland joined EU and they left to Western European countries. So like a treatment of Romani people, like in, not just Poland, but in Europe in general, was very problematic. Uh, and also like when we think about World War II, we think of uh, Holocaust and Jewish people, but also Romani people were part of the, um, you know, um, extermination and stuff. So that topic is just so um, sensitive. Um, and then also just like, yeah, they're using like children as dolls and I don't just all oh, this particular clip is just so cringy and that's like a thing there are some really funny jokes but then this one is just like so wrong on so many levels and gives me a very very bad ick um yeah so I have mixed feelings about it because um some of the jokes are generally good and all the characters are meant to be ridiculous in a way but they're really pushing on showing how ridiculous Poland is by saying things which are just not true and that's where I have a little bit uh, of a problem with of like is that really necessary are we really a country of Borat and then again people who's never been to Eastern European country just watch this and like yeah it's like going to Borat you know and that's not how Eastern European looks like. We have a lot of very beautiful modern cities. Financially speaking, uh, we have a lower uh, income than Western European countries, but the gap is not crazy insane. We don't have people starving in Poland. Basically, we have like maybe some unemployment issues, but we don't have like survival <laughs> issues in Poland. Uh, to that extent uh, that like, those shows are trying to show. As teenagers, we, you know, buy Chicago clothes in H&M, in Zara, watch American TV shows. We're not that different from Americans. The next example I wanted to also talk about was in Two and a Half Men. We have this man, Charlie, which is a huge playboy, always brings home many women. And one of them was this Polish woman. She's not blonde blonde, but of course she's very busty and big. And basically they spend the night together and she is not smart enough to realize that he does understand any Polish. She just keeps on speaking Polish to him. He keeps on replying in English and after a whole night of that, she still didn't realize. And we, ha we have a scene where she's leaving the house in the morning and she just speaks Polish to him. And she just tells him that she's gonna give him many babies. Yeah, to the man that she cannot communicate with that she just met in one night stand, because we're that clueless. And also like another thing about that, 
this actress. She basically had like two lines to say this whole show and they still couldn't find a Polish actress, actual Polish actress. Also Sophie from Two Burgers, actress is not Polish. And here the actress is clearly not Polish as well. She says things in Polish, which are with clear accent of some kind. They couldn't just hire a Polish person to say a few lines. It has to be American with a very broken Polish. Anyway, also she comes back with her relatives in the next scene. And again, how do they look like? Borat. Do you see that, that babushka? In the villages you can still maybe meet babushkas like that, but they say that she's from Gdańsk. Gdańsk is a very big city in Poland. I don't think people walk like that in there. And then the next example is actually oh, Dorota from The Gossip Girl. <laughs> and I feel a little bit different. I mean, a little bit different about her. I loved Gossip Girl growing up. I'm 24, so Gossip Girl, it came out, I don't remember which year, but basically it was my teenage year watching Gossip Girl. And then seeing Dorota being a Polish character, I had a mixed feelings about it because, of course, watching Gossip Girl, I wanted to be like the Upper East Side cool kids. And I was like, oh, I want to be there in the school with them and like, oh, have this life. And then the Polish character is a house lady? Cleaning lady? House lady, I think that's a better word to say about her. Like a housemaid. So it made me basically feel a little uncool as a teenager. Yeah, okay, Polish character must be a housekeeper. Oh, housekeeper, that's a word I was searching for, housekeeper. But on the other hand, Dorota, she's, I think now, as I'm older, I really appreciate her, her character because although he, she was being a housekeeper, she was very smart, she was scheming with Blair, she was her basically best friend, you know, running around with her and being like a... I think she was a, the biggest Blair confidant. And even at the end of the show series, she gets recognition from everyone. Cyrus admits that basically Dorota helped to raise Blair, they give her the apartment for her wedding. So she gets recognition and I think she's like a very fun character and also the actress is actually Polish and when she has that one scene where she speaks Polish it's actually Polish person Polish which made me so happy uh, and I love that scene uh, so much uh, the only thing is that when she gets pregnant it's out of wedlock so she's so terrified that her whole family they have to get married before they come and visit which to be fair you know, some we have conservative families, we have religious families. For some, probably getting pregnant without being married would be an issue. But I think it was portrayed in the show as more of an issue. Like if they're gonna kick her out from the family for getting pregnant out of wedlock. My parents don't know I'm pregnant. And since I'm not married, they will disown me. Or worse, they will kidnap and take back to old country. <laughs> and I don't think that really happens. I think people could be shady, saying some uh, unnecessary comments, but I don't think people would actually just like stop talking to you because you had a baby out of wedlock. And those are the characters that just came to my mind from me watching my TV series. Please let me know what you think, other Eastern Europeans, other Polish people, also Americans, British people, whoever is watching, like what you think. Because uh, I have mixed feelings, because on one hand I can enjoy those shows, but then on the other I'm like, it would be nice to not be hypersexualized or not be a cleaner, you know? It would be nice to have something a little bit more. Um, but let me know what you think. If you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's email in my description below if you want to talk with me about something, but uh, some people are messaging me asking if I can find them wife in Poland. I don't provide services like that, so please don't. But if you want to just share your thoughts about something, ask for advice, uh, please do so. And I hope you have a very, very wonderful day. And I hope to see you again in one of my videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>